Joining us for more on the situation, Andrea Dubchak, a reporter, Radio Free Europe from K. Thank you so much. What is the latest that you can share with us? Russia surprised by this, you know, attack. It's already been uh, this cross-border advances into its fourth day now. Yes, of course, it was like a big, dark surprise for Russian. Yeah, and Ukrainian forces uh, unexpectedly uh, go deep to Russian territory and uh, now they try to stay and hold position like uh, deeply inside the Russian territory. Of course, Russia will uh, try to do the best to push back Ukrainian forces, but again, the uh, main task for Ukrainian forces now is like to uh, get territory and to stabilize front lines there. But it will be hard because uh, Russia used a lot of uh, uh, aviation, uh, guided bombs uh, and uh, drones. Right. What we do believe is Russia is now moving its troops into that territory, uh, having been taken by surprise. You also had uh, Mr. Uh, had uh, President uh, Volodymyr Zelensky say Moscow must feel the consequences for its invasion of Ukraine, though not referring to this region. No, it's a war and Ukraine, uh, in my opinion, have rights to fight on Russian territory because Russia uh, tried to occupy Ukrainian territory and it's like uh, our our rights to, to fight with Russia there too. No, absolutely. Uh, no one can understand. But uh, if you could tell us more about what you're hearing, what, what is being reported right now there uh, in, in the media regarding this, that we believe you're, that uh, Ukrainian forces are 10 kilometers inside Russian territory. Uh, it's probably even more than 10 kilometers. It's like approximately 20 kilometers uh, deeply into Russian territory. Uh, this night, Ukrainian uh, destroyed by HIMARS, uh, the column of the Russian vehicles with soldiers, a lot of video on the on internet now. And uh, of course, Russia tried to push back Ukrainian forces uh, and use a lot of guided bombs, uh, drones and artillery. But main task for Ukrainian forces now to hold territory and to uh, deep trenches and to, to stay. And a lot of Ukrainian forces now uh, going directly to toward to Russian like border, and uh, I hope U Ukrainian will stay and hold territory. Well, it's a very high stakes move indeed. You're saying 20 kilometers into uh, you know Russian territory. It's been a long, bloody war, and one can uh, expect a very strong you know reaction from Russia in in coming days. Is, is and Ukraine ready for that? Yes, Ukraine ready for that because uh, we like two and a half, more than two years in a full-scale invasion uh, war. Yeah, and of course, like uh, it's not news for us. We are in the state of war with Russia, and uh, every day Ukrainians feel it. No electricity sometimes. Uh, even this night, I saw the uh, Russian drone attack to Kiev, and Ukrainian uh, anti-aircraft forces uh, destroy this drone on my eye. Uh, and uh, so for us, it's not news. We need to fight because otherwise we will be occupied and we will divide the same uh, life as the NR, LNR or Chechen Republic. So Russia will use Ukrainian just like a uh, field meat and uh, destroy country, destroy everything. So we need to survive and we need to, to stay. Already you said it's been a long bloody war carrying on for you know so long, so much loss on uh, on Ukraine side as well. But with this this development in the last few days of, of of this incursion into Russia, has how has this been you know received by the people? Uh, of course, people support uh, this like movement uh, because as we it need has, some has it been victory a boost on the front in line. a sense because it's been such a long bloody war. Is 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 there, you know, a sense that this is like a boost and the fact that you could surprise Russia? Uh, yes, it's, 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 of course it surprised Russia because Ukrainian move forward and, uh, and uh, win first uh, part of this big bottle. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Andrei Dubchak there reporting uh, from uh, Kiev. Uh,